Hi everybody, John here from All Miniatures Grade Small. Uh, today I just wanted to do a uh, video talking about the new Eastern Front book that's coming out for Flames of War. This is a uh, another compilation book, just like the North Africa book, uh, that combines um, several previous releases into one giant uh, tome for your enjoyment. So I thought I would go over, I thought it would be an interesting video to talk about some of the cool uh, units that are in this new book that might not have been available in some of the other uh, books that you might not have been able to uh, play with. Now this concept is familiar to you if you follow the North Africa release um, with the inclusion of the wild card units. So wild cards are kind of cool. What they do is basically it lets you add special units that might be hypothetical, might be extremely rare to your force. So the Germans, this video we're going to cover the Germans, and uh, if you like this we'll also cover the Soviets next. Um, the Germans, we have a couple of cool options. So I'm going to start with the wild cards uh, for the Germans, and then we'll also talk about some of those more rare uh, units that, were, uh, that are also now available. So the first unit we're going to talk about is the Tiger P. Now the Tiger P is pretty much your standard Tiger. Um, it does have that cool Porsche turret that's mounted further up on the chassis than the normal Tiger. Um, so it, it looks cool, but it, it brings a lot of the same um, things that a normal Tiger would add to your force. The same guns, uh, pretty much the same motivation and skill. Um, it's still hit on a four, it's careful. Uh, same armor layout. The main difference is uh, in movement, uh, particularly the two plus cross check that it gives you. As in mid war, normal tigers have a three up cross check. But otherwise, um, you know, I can't recommend the Tiger P unless you're you just want it for the looks, which is not a bad reason to get it. It looks really cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's a cool tank and a neat addition uh, as a wild card. So you could take this as well as uh, a normal Tiger one, although you wouldn't have very many points left over for an entire army. Okay, uh, the next one is kind of a, a interesting one. It is the Panzer I infantry tank. So again, this is another wild card. Um, you can take up to four of these, and um, they're not that expensive. They are basically a, a light tank, but they don't move like a light tank. They move like a heavy tank. They're a little tiny tank, uh, and just the stats real quick is, uh, I mean, they're, they're almost as well armored as a Tiger. Front armor 8, side armor 5, top armor 2, uh, but it only has machine guns as its weapon. So it only has four machine gun shots. Uh, so interesting tank. It also is slow. Its tactical is only eight, like a, a very heavy tank. Three of cross check though, so that's not too bad. Um, but it's um, <laughs> you know, it's such an oddball little tank. It's such heavy armor uh, and such weak uh, guns that it makes an interesting combination. So those are your two wild cards. So between those two wild cards, I think that the Tiger P, although definitely looks cooler. Um, you know, do, doesn't have quite as many uses as maybe that Panzer I. Um, the Germans really don't have anything else in their list that kind of fulfills that same niche, which is a heavy armored um, infantry supporting tank, you know, and if it's supporting infantry that speed 8 uh, really isn't going to hurt it. It can keep up with the infantry and that's about it. Um, and machine guns to suppress whatever needs to be suppressed. Then obviously you're going to need other things to deal with enemy armor. Uh, but the uh, the Panzer I could be an interesting addition to your mid-war army. Alright, let's talk about now some of the more uh, rare uh, vehicles that um, are, are coming into the game or being added to the Germans. Uh, the first one is the Dicker Max. It's a tank hunter and um, you can take these uh, and I think you can take a unit of two of them. And there were a couple of prototypes um, that were actually built, so it's not a, a completely hypothetical tank. As far as the stats go, this is, um, you know, some pretty standard German soft stats. It's careful, veteran, and fearless. Um, it has pretty weak armor, though. Front armor, three. Uh, side armor, two. Top armor, zero. Um, Pretty normal speed with a cross check of uh, four plus. 
but the weapons well the weapons it's got a uh, 10.5 centimeter gun with a 40 inch range gives it a uh, halted and moving uh, 2 1 anti tank 15 with a 2 plus firepower it's also got forward firing and the slow firing rule so it's an extra it's extra harder to hit on the uh, on the move but uh, with the three up skill you might be able to blitz and still be firing your your <laughs> two shots of rate of fire um, you know as if you're standing still so blitzing is is a possibility with this um, but uh, overall I mean f for the cost which isn't uh, I mean isn't ridiculous for an AT-15 gun um, it's it's not a bad consideration the only downside is you can only max out the unit uh, the platoon at two uh, dicker maxes so um, and I'm, I'm not a fan of two unit um, you know two team units I guess that's the correct way to say it because uh, you know all you need to do is bail one or destroy one and the other one is is going to be testing to stick around for the rest of the game and that's that's always a scary prospect even with a, a three up uh, fearless motivation okay the uh, the next one is the Durer Emil tank hunter so this is um, another kind of tank hunter tank destroyer in a similar vein to the the Dicker Max but it ups the game um, you can actually take this in combination with a Dicker Max so you can run it as two stirrer emils and a Dicker Max or you could just run it as a single or two stirrer emils um, the armor is a little bit bigger than a Dicker Max this is basically a, a, a upgunned Dicker Max if you if you will um, so similar soft stats instead of being um, instead of being fearless like the Dicker Max it is confident motivation otherwise though it's careful and veteran it has a front armor of five though so improved front armor side armor of two top armor zero um, it does have uh, it is slower it's only a, a eight inch tactical speed but it does get a two up cross check so having this in things like woods where it needs to have a cross check to redeploy is actually feasible whereas the uh, the four up on the Dicker Max is uh, you know iffy to say the least at 50 50 percent what uh, weapon does this uh, tank bring to the table well it's got a massive 12.8 um, centimeter gun <laughs> 48 inch range um, halted and moving rate of fire is 2 slash 1 anti-tank is 20 and firepower is 2 plus I mean we're we're in team Yankee territory at that point uh, it also has some self-defense machine guns or a machine gun uh, as well so this gun is is ridiculous I mean tw <laughs> anti-tank 20 is going to hurt uh, uh, pretty much anything in the game um, you know even king tigers uh, have to fear this thing uh, band um, you know but you, you pay for it I mean it's it's a lot of points but with the weak armor it's not a deal breaker you know it's not like uh, purchasing a tiger um, you know you can get one of these for a neighborhood of nine points and that's that's pretty nice okay so we've got those two uh, which are, are pretty much a, a similar family they can even be run together in certain ways next up we have the 8.8 .8 centimeter bunker flak so this is another tank hunter platoon um, what it is is basically a giant uh, uh, armored half track with an 88 um, gun on the back and really that's what it is soft stats wise you've got a uh, careful of uh, four plus uh, it's fearless and veteran only a front armor of one side and top are zero um, it is a, a eight inch tactical so it is very slow uh, three up cross check though so that's not bad and it brings a uh, an 88 and or 8.8 .8 centimeter if you will 40 inch range um, two shots halted zero shots moving anti-tank 14 and three plus firepower so um, what you'd expect from your standard 88 except without a moving rate of fire no moving rate of fire for for this um, so all of these weapons 
uh -huh. are pretty much meant for more, I believe, the defensive because some of them, both of the, uh, the other ones are slow firing and this one cannot fire at all on the move. So you're relying on blitzes if you want to shoot and move in the same turn, which can be pretty, pretty scary. But uh, you want a mobile 88 in mid-war? Well, there's, there's your option besides taking a, uh, you know, a tiger to get your 88. Um, it's not too expensive. It's six points for one, but again, you can only take two of them. Uh, you max out at two, so it's, um, again, not ideal. I don't think any of these are, are super ideal just because of that platoon size. Uh, again, two units in a platoon are, yeah, it's just, it's just so brittle that, um, that and prone to damage that's hard to, to include them if you're trying to be competitive. But that said, if you just want to play with something cool, if you want to play with an AT-20 gun in uh, mid-war, or you want to play with a, a light tank that's front armor 8, that's better armored than, you know, a, a Panzer IV, um, you know, these units are pretty cool. And I know there's a, you know, there's a, a debate in the community whether these game, guns and vehicles should be in the game or not. Um, and I think ultimately where, where I fall is, you know, if you don't want to play with them, that's fine. You don't have to include them, um, but they're there if you ever want to play with them and play with that hypothetical, which I think is fun. And then as a group, you know, if you play with someone, uh, you know, do the play thing. Hey, do you mind if we, we include wild cards or, uh, you know, things like that. Um, and, and that saves surprise and maybe uh, potentially hurt feelings and things like that. So there you go. But my take is let people enjoy their, their models. And, um, you know, if you want to play historical, absolutely do that too. That's a lot of fun. And Flames of War, I think, has a big enough community to allow all kinds of exploration um, into this time period. So that's my thought. And uh, take it for what it's worth, which is probably nothing but... <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this look at some of the cool uh, new German units in the Eastern Front book. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think if I pick up anything for my Eastern Front Germans, um, oh, gee, I don't know. Maybe the, the Dicker Max or the, um, the Sturer Emil, uh, just because they, they look cool. They're, they're, they're scary, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to say, but um, otherwise, I, I think that um you know again they're there for you to play with all right guys again i hope you enjoyed this if you did please do consider giving us a like and subscribe click that bell to receive notification when we release new content as always thanks for watching and keep on gaming